Welcome back, guys, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Mad Monday Breakdowns. I am your host, Sim Football Critic. Got three quick clips for you. Let's get right to it. As you can see here in this first one, if you're looking at the first down marker, you can see I'm able to stop Amendola. Great stuff here as far as being able to push him back with the organic physics and organic gang tackles. It's great to see that type of stuff happen. All right, so let's take a look at another play again, guys. I'm, as it says in the title, two positives, one negative. Take a look at Heath Miller here again. A great display of physics right here. Now, what I do not like, I really don't like how Collins is able to catch up to him and kind of get pulled into that animation. We all know why it happens. But again, this is advocating allowing animations to be free flowing instead of allowing, you know, these things to just, you know, the rap to start, so to speak, the two man animation. All right, and speaking of that, we're gonna look at the last thing here. You're gonna see Tom Brady is gonna go deep to Amendola. Mike Mitchell actually is in position to possibly knock this ball down. You're going to see the ball is gonna shift to Amendola. And this is what I say again, you know, this is the reason why we have to focus on untethering these animations and untethering the outcomes. And hopefully we'll be able to get the product that we all are looking for. All right, guys, so again, as I come back here into the footage, I'll definitely, you know, just recap what you saw there. Great to see the organic physics playing out. It's beautiful to see those things. It's definitely allowing us to see where the product can go. And that's what it's all about. With the organic physics now, start spreading that out to more players. Make it more, you know, more of a thing that, that really dictates the outcome. And guys, I know we talk about this all the time, but like I said, how do you continue to make these ideas fresh and on people's minds? and showing the dev that these are the things we want other than to keep talking about it, all right? So like I said, definitely wanna see those physics expand, start building on it, build the trenches, things like that based on physics, DB and Wado interactions, as well as untethering those animations. I think once we get to the point where we can detach animations from being connected with two players or tied to the ball, what have you, we're gonna get the dynamic experience that we want. All right, guys, so that'll be it for today. Like always, leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and let me know what you think. Once again, guys, thanks for coming by. And if you want to interact with me live, head on over to Sim Standard Radio every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, along with Smitty and Azure Fat. The call in number for the show is down in the description. Now, of course, for more content, go ahead and click the link above. And before you go, don't forget to rate comment, and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, lights out.